Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a live application review of the new OPI Spring 2023 collection. This is called Me, Myself, and OPI. There are 12 new shades, about half and half between cream formula and shimmer formula. So I'm really excited to dive into these, see what we've got, and see if they're any good. So this is a little bit of a spoiler. If you haven't watched my roundup wrap up of 2022, I did a kind of recap of all of the collections that I reviewed in 2022 to see which mainstream brand came up on top and almost all of the seasons of the year OPI had my favorite mainstream collection which is really fantastic well done OPI I'm really hoping that that means for this next year you're going to be on top as well which for me that involves picking interesting colors not things that we've seen a bunch of time and always giving me just a little bit of spice that makes me be like oh you chose something different and interesting I like that even if it's not like mainstream enough for everybody's gonna like it. I really enjoy that because some things that some people really don't like, it swings both ways and there will be some people that are absolutely crazy for it. So that always excites me. I can't wait to get into swatching. Stick around to the end of the video and we'll do a dupes and comparisons portion, which I always do for China Glaze and OPI. I save all the polishes. I have a huge stash of them by now for the purposes of comparisons for you. I want to be able to look through all my polishes and see what I have. Now, of course, I don't have every OPI polish ever released, but I do have quite an extensive collection so I can look and see what you might already have in your collection that's very similar and maybe you don't need this new polish that came out if you already have that previous awesome OPI shade. So the comparisons will only be within OPI's own line and that'll be at the end of the video. So if you're only interested in watching these swatches, that's what we're going to do right now. Without any further ado, let's get into it. Hello, my sweet friend. Thanks for joining me for this review. We're going to go in alphabetical order as we always do. That means we're going to start with the yellow. This one's called Blinded by the Ring Light. So pretty soon into my first interaction with these polishes, that was beginning with this shade, I realized that the cream formula... It wasn't really what I have grown to expect from OPI. It's a little bit thinner and streakier. There is um, maybe a couple creams that aren't this way. So keep on watching and you can see, but um, I was having a little bit of issue even with it not drying very fast and the second coat picking up the first coat. Next is Clear Your Cash, the beautiful green. Um, yeah, I wasn't really loving how these were applying. I was thinking to myself, is it me? What's going on? Half of the shade are creams. So I had plenty of time to kind of experiment with these creams. And you guys know that I swatch polish all the time. That's what I do here on this channel. So you know when you're swatching something and you can just feel that it's not as nice and easy to swatch as something else. And that's what was happening with these cream shades. However, in contrast, I really enjoyed how the shimmery shades swatched, especially this one. I loved it. This actually ended up being my favorite polish out of the collection. I know, right? That's kind of crazy since I'm not a salmon lover. This is a peach, but it has a lot of gold shimmer. And the shimmer that they chose for these um, very small particle shimmers in the collection is kind of accented with this extra underlying oomph. And this one has a gold shimmer with a little tiny silver speckly twinkle. And it's so glowy. It's so beautiful. It didn't look frosty on my nail. I really liked the shimmers. Incognito Mode is another cream shade. This one swatched a little nicer than those first two. But I was also swatching with the members of the channel in the Early Access Swatch. This day that I was swatching these polishes, we also swatched the Morgan Taylor Cream polishes. And they went on just like butter. And I'm going to recommend to you, if you like the cream shades in this collection, but you want to go ahead and trust my word that they're just not as delightful to swat or to paint your nails with, go for those Morgan Taylor creams. We're going to swatch another shimmer right here. I meta my soulmate. This is the very light pink shimmer. And as you can see, there's kind of like two shimmers going on, the more linear one. And then you've got this kind of background speckled finish that just gives this really lovely glint to the nail and makes it kind of extra special. So like I said, I really liked the shimmers in this collection. 
if it were me and I wasn't purchasing this whole collection for purposes of reviewing on this channel so you could see how everything applied, what I would do is purchase the creams from the Morgan Taylor collection, which by the way, will be the next video on this channel for um, live application review. So you can see what I'm talking about with those polishes. Um, I would purchase the shimmers, all of them from this collection and the creams from that collection. This is the lovely purple in the collection. See how the two different kinds of shimmers? So, so pretty. Left your texts on red. This one's a bright, vibrant kind of red-orange jelly. And then it has the shimmers in there again, which are a little bit harder to see in this polish because of the opacity of red pigment. But they are in there. It's nice and twinkling. If you want something with way more shimmer, I have some good comparisons for you coming up after we're done with the live swatch. Um, by the way, the purple and the pink shimmer that are coming up have kind of a similar formula to this, but you can see the shimmers a lot more. Um, they are more of like a wash of color rather than a strong pigmented base like this one or like some previous um, shimmers that we've had from OPI, which you'll also see in the comparison section as well. This next one is NFT's Me, and this is this lovely kind of robin's egg blue. Um, as you can see with this, it just kind of was a little bit streaky and I just kept thinking, if I were a nail tech in a salon and my customers kept choosing these OPI shades, I would just be a little bit frustrated. They aren't easy to go on. I am able to get them for the most part nice at the two coats, but my goodness, swatching them right next to those Morgan Taylors, I was like, okay, this is a lovely swatching experience and the OPI ones are being kind of tough. This is the polish that really got me thinking about nail techs because pink in bio is just that very perfect, barely blush, light neutral that a lot of people are going to pick in the salons, but it's just not very fun to work with. You have to kind of just be careful that you're not um, brushing the polish on your nail too much that you're going to kind of create streaks. I was just having a tough time with it and so I was thinking I would love to work with something a little bit easier to manage. Silicon Valley Girl is basically the one exception in this collection as far as the creams. This one applied like how I thought the rest of them would apply. There's a little bit more pigment in the base. Maybe it was less thinned out with some um, thinner to make sure that the polishes don't thicken up as they sit on the shelves. This one I could get more not one and done but closer to that experience where I felt like it was looking nice and plump and juicy on the two coats so that's silicone valley girl now as far as the color goes I'm not really ready for something this bright in my spring collections right now in January but hey I'm gonna love this in a few months spring break the internet this is like that purple it's nice and bright but it's not gonna really look like that on your nail um, unless you wear it as a topper or build it up in like three coats. I wouldn't go for four, but four might get you closer to that look. It's more just like a wash of color and you can see the multiple different shimmers in there giving a really nice appearance. So all in all, the creams were a little bit disappointing. However, totally still usable, just not what I was expecting from OPI. So it made the shimmers in this collection my favorites out of the whole collection. Switch to portrait mode is the final polish in the collection. This is a very light neutral shimmer, which I thought was really nice. It's not pink. So for people who don't love pink, this gives you a really light shimmer to wear that gives you, you know, another kind of option. It's just a little bit of a wash of color, a barely there nude with some elegance of the shimmer. So I did really like that one as well. Time for comparisons. So first up, we're gonna look at the yellow, which is called Blinded by the Ring Light. I'm gonna go through these comparisons really quickly. So if you need to pause and write things down, that might be the best bet for you. It is very, very similar to One Cute Chick. And the other one that I have there as well is Behind the Scenes. Next, we're gonna look at the very, very pale pink called Pink in Bio. It is incredibly similar to Lisbon Wants More OPI. It has a little bit more blush than that. And then if you want something with even more blush, um, go for What's the Double Scoop. So it's kind of lying there right nicely in between 
Lisbon wants more OPI and what's the double scoop. And then if you want a uh, much wider, brighter, very light pink, go for Let's Be Friends. As for the beautiful mauve purple, it is called Incognito Mode. I have an almost exact dupe for you here. This is one hecla of a color. They are so similar, I don't think you could tell them apart if you had them on. And then two other options going in, you know, opposite ranges here. We have Seven Wonders of OPI if you want something lighter and then something even moodier and a little deeper. We have Hello, Hawaii. As for the light shimmering pink, that one's called I Meta My Soulmate. I have some gorgeous options for you here. It's really similar to Shellmates Forever, but that one's kind of frostier looking. Um, but then two lighter options, we have the color that keeps on giving and a hush of blush. Next, let's look at the light nude shimmer. And again, here I have some great options for you. The one in this collection is called Switch to Portrait Mode. And very similar is um, one of my favorite nudes from OPI. This is called Coral Chroma. It has this really beautiful shifty shimmer that's going pink to gold to almost green on the edge. Um, and so if you want something with way more shifty shimmer, go for that. And then lighter than the polish in this collection, we have... Um, Chiffon, chiffon of you, excuse me. So that one doesn't give you as much of a peach base, but you could put it over a very light tan and you might get a similar look. Next, let's look at the shimmering kind of hot pink shade. This one's called Spring Break the Internet. The most similar thing to it is Pink Bling and Be Merry. It's pretty close, um, but it's a little bit deeper in the base color. And then I also put a couple things here for you. The neon shade is Exercise Your Brights. It's going to give you, kind. Of, these ones are going to kind of give you similar looks, but obviously not dupes. And then Joy wanted me to include this one because it's one of her favorite pinks. And this is 15 Minutes of Flame. Next we have the orange cream. This one's called Silicon Valley Girl. And I have two really, really similar things, almost identical. We have Santa Monica Beach Peach, and then we have Can't Afford Not To. All really nice formulas as well. On to the fiery red. So here are three other reds for you that have a lot of beautiful shimmer. So the one in this collection is called Left Your Texts on Red. And the one that has the most kind of similar look is I absolutely Amadoria, and that's just because it doesn't have as much shifty large particle shimmer in there as the other two, but I really, really like the other two. I prefer them to the red in this collection. However, if you were looking for the jelly to be more predominant than the shimmer, then you would probably want to go with the red in this collection. So the two that I really recommend for you are Strawberry Waves Forever and Heart and Console. All right, surprisingly, probably my favorite polish out of the collection, we have Data Peach. And very similar here for you, super, super similar. We have um, Melon of Troy and we have Snow Falling for You but Data Peach has a lovely gold gleam to it, which the others don't. Next, we're looking at the purple shimmer in the collection. This is called I Sold My Crypto. I really do like this polish, but it really only gives you this nice kind of wash of purple to the nail unless you build it up in three coats, or you could certainly wear this as a topper as well. If you want that pigment to show better, definitely go for um, very fairy fun. It's pretty similar, but it has a richer pigment to the base. So you're going to get like more of a color payoff. Um, I understand they're going for something different here, but I'm just wanted to mention that to you in case you were looking for a color that's more similar to what I sold my crypto looks like in the bottle. And then I also have for you, um, rainbows, a go, go, which is even more sheer than the polish in this collection. But when I put um, I sold my crypto on. I was thinking that it was very similar to Rainbow's A Go Go. That in fact has a little bit even larger micro flaky particle and is even sheerer. And then the other polish I wanted to show in comparison is Samurai Breaks a Nail, which has a very fine shimmer but does have kind of similar color. Um, so I wanted to show that comparison in case you were wondering. 
Next up, we're going to look at NFTs me. No exact dupes here for you. Um, I do have some similar things. I was looking for very light turquoise colors that weren't too blue or too green, and here's where we fell. So as you can see, there was a nice little empty spot for NFTs me to go. So let me just tell you what the polishes are here, and I you can pause them if you want to make note of these shades if you're interested in them. So we have Sailing and Nailing, Susie Without a Paddle, and Gelato On My Mind. Last up, we're gonna look at the lovely green in the collection called Clear Your Cash. It kind of lies nicely in between Life Gave Me Lemons, which as you can see is really vibrant, has a gorgeous formula, um, and Tropical Me On My Cell, which is this kind of muted green yellow. It's such a weird shade, I really don't know what to call it. And then um, even a lighter green with a little bit less of that gray tone of the Tropical, we have on the end, the pass is always greener. There are so many light greens like this now in OPI's line, and I didn't find an exact, exact dupe for you, but these are the most similar. So like I said, I purchased these at polishpick.com. That will be linked in the description bar below. I always link where I go to purchase anything. None of my videos are ever sponsored, in case you are wondering. I will remind you that again for 2023 because I want you to be able to trust what I'm telling you is my own opinion and not because any brand is paying me. So that's gonna be it for this review. Let me know in your comments below. Was this collection different enough for you? Was there enough interesting things? How did you feel about all the pearly shimmer shades or are you more interested in the creams? And did this collection scratch your spring itch? Was it colorful enough? Let me know all the things and if you're gonna be picking any of these up. I appreciate you being here today. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video if it helped you out. And I'll see you back for another spring collection review very soon. Bye.